Thank you. Good afternoon, everyone. As you already know, my name is Eric Trejo. You know, life is like a game of cards. You have the cards you start out with and the ones you pick up throughout the game. You have no idea what you're going to start out with, but no matter what, you play what you have in hand and what you pick up along the way to put you in a better position than before and ahead of everyone else, of course. You, look at, you can look at life as a game and the cards as your opportunities, but you're not competing with anyone but yourself. And you don't realize it, but you have control of your opportunities. But you have to put yourself in the position to earn your opportunities. I'm not the type of person to believe in fate or predetermination. If I want something, I'll work for it. I'll earn it. There's two things I try to do a lot. That's one, be kind. You never know who you're talking to when you meet someone for the first time. So be sure you make a good impression. It's important to have respect and make friends. Two, work hard. Hard work pays off. I've been working and helping my dad ever since I can remember. And anything from mechanics, restoring and painting cars, designing and building trailers, to masonry, plowing, growing crops, and much, much more. My parents didn't have the best starting hand, but let's just say they played their cards right so far. In Mexico, they didn't have the same opportunities of education as we do here. That's why it's important for me to take advantage of every, every opportunity offered. Sometimes we take it for granted, though. I hear people complain about having to go to school and how much work they have to do, and I can't help but think it could be worse you could be in a place where you can't go to school and all you know how to do is work the field. And when that's all you know, that's what you do. You have no options. That's why they don't realize people here have all the chances to have a good education and make it farther in life, be successful. But somehow, some way, there are people that settle with what they have and it wouldn't take much more to make it farther. All it takes is grit, some drive, I guess when you know what it's like to be at the bottom, you value things a little bit more. The perfect design by my dad was coming to the States when he did and teaching me all these skills, preparing me. Sometimes the perfect design takes you to a whole other country, but it's what brought me here today. He's the best role model for my siblings and I. He's worked his way up to head tech at the company he works for, and what got him there was his grit and willingness to learn. And out of all the things my siblings and I got from him, grit was certainly one of them. I started taking college classes in the fall semester last year. It gave me a taste of what college would be like, and it made me look forward to taking more. I started out with some college transfer courses and some auto body classes. I wanted to gain more experience and get certified in collision repair. So when I transferred to another college, I could find a job easier and help me pay my, with some of my college expenses. In the spring, my brother convinced me to take some wood, welding classes with him. And once again, I found myself learning a new and very useful skill. I quickly got the hang of it and practiced af night after night the whole semester. My whole senior year, I was busy. In the fall, I was taking two classes through the college and a year-long AP calculus class, all while working part-time and playing soccer for the school in which we had a very successful season, making it all the way to the state championship game. I was going to the high school. In the spring, I was going to the high school in the morning, going to work after school, and then taking college welding night classes right after work, almost every day of the week. It was hard to make time for anything else, like spending time with friends and family, and that thing they call sleep. Like I said, hard work pays off. Every day I got better at welding and definitely found a new hobby and potential career. Also, because of me having experience in collision repair from working with my dad and really took into learning from it, and I also had experience, I had a local, uh, local body shop give me a job before I even graduated from high school. And I was able to do some detailing jobs before then. With all the inspiration I had, I've accomplished a lot of things so far, and I expect more to come. I'm just getting started. Maybe I'll be an inspiration to someone else. Hopefully my younger brother would do things greater than me. And not just him or Hispanic kids or anyone else, but everyone. Everyone here in the US. 
I think the goal in life for every generation should be making it farther than the last one and inspiring the next to make it farther than you and teach the next generation to achieve more than the expected and exceed goals, not just meet them and settle for them. Hopefully my grit and hard work will show others that they can do great things. You don't have to have the best starting hand. You just have to take the opportunities you get. Chances, you want, chances are you won't have it handed to you. You have to work for it. I want to give thanks to my parents, Ms. Sawyers, Ms. Folger Hawks, Ms. Kelly, Pat's Body Shop, Surrey Community College, and especially all you wonderful people. Thank you for having me. I want you to leave with one thing. Educators, you have in your hands aces. So go out and find the Bryans, the Chandlers, find the Erics, the Shanitas, deal them out, and watch us win. Ooh.